Good morning YouTube, so today's video got Chad here and we're going to be doing a DK review of a Montal fragrance, one that's been getting a lot of hype that was released in 2015 but the last couple years really steamrolled and that's going to be Montal's Honey Oud or Honey Oud, launched in 2015 class as an amber vanilla for men and women. So this is definitely a unisex scent. I've been wearing this every single day of this week. You like? Okay. It's um, it's totally not what I expected, but I, I actually like it. It's very masculine. I get that. I do get the oud in there for sure. Yeah, it's there. The the Montel Mancera type of oud that you mm -hmm. get. It's actually really nice. What are your thoughts on it? <laughs> I surprisingly enjoy it. I don't mind honey mm -hmm. as a note, but this I really do enjoy. So I'll just list the notes. So note breakdown, there's no levels according to Fragantica, but you're gonna get oud, cinnamon, amber, Madagascar, vanilla, honey, of course, leather, patchouli, and flowers. So in my opinion, I get mostly the patchouli, the vanilla, the, the oud, and the, the honey in there. That's mostly what I get. Is it different from here? Slightly, maybe slightly more floral. So on skin, you're gonna get a little bit of the florals. Like the main takeaways is going to be like the amber, you're gonna get the oud and the honey. On, te on tester, the leather is now popping. On tester, at least. This smells more masculine than yeah, my arm. really. Mind you, I'm, a, I'm not exactly the most masculine guy out there, but I'm okay with that. I don't get leather. Leather, is, I, okay. it's been there for the last two hours. Oh, yeah. Different, it's, huh? Yeah, completely. Very different. Like, one, one more. Yeah, so on skin, it's like a little bit more like almost unisex. and It's way more sweet. unisex. Yeah, this smells way more masculine. Like all I'm getting on here is mostly like the, the masculine notes, the oud, the patchouli, like the leather. It's weird. Yeah. Like and, that's completely different. And you don't get a... Okay, there's a hint of honey, but yeah. not a lot. A very small hint. <laughs> yeah, so it's completely different on the tester there. The honey in, on, in this though is very like smooth. It's sweet. It's silky. silky. You're gonna get that that ambery, like well, like a resinous type of amber. Yeah. A little bit of florals on skin, leather on test strip, not on me though, but maybe on you, you might get a more leather than any, anything. But yeah. Like a hint of spice, but it's really nice. That oud is like woody and kind of medicinal type of oud. Yeah, it, and it's not really like, like hardcore oud. It's not very, and this Safe. is a brand that, yeah, exactly. And this is a brand that really does like, Authentic. I don't. Well, some people say it's not an authentic oud, but I'm just not an oud lover, and that note tends to put me off. Me too. It, it's not overly aggressive. No, it's it's definitely a safer oud. If you're trying to get into ouds and you wanted somewhere to start, this is it's not going to be too of an aggressive like barnyardy or dead tree type. You're smell. gonna have to smell this one out before blind, Mike, because yeah. you it might yes. react completely different on. Skin. I'm really shocked to see how it performs on you. Like it's it's sweet. <laughs> In floral on him. Well, it's... I'm a little sweet. <laughs> I, I wonder if it would. Yeah, like it's it's just really confusing me. I'm really surprised to see that because this is not what I'm getting here at all, and a little spicy. Hmm. This is a for what for a Montau. This is actually a lot more expensive than the other ones. Is it probably because of some hype behind it? I'm maybe sure. so. Oh, Arabian's Tonka type price is there. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. So this is going for about 125 USD right now. But when you convert that, it's like 175 almost. Oh, that's even more. Yeah. That's probably one of their most expensive fragrances. Probably, and it might be because of the hype. Yeah. I think it was the one of the curly ladies who okay. have been hyping it up. I don't know, but oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. This is really good. Wow, geez, this is a, on, on tester, it's great. My problem is of how different it performs on the skin, where I can't really, say what my honest opinions are because it's so Do different. Do you want to spray it on? I would love to. Okay. Hey, that's like pretty good decant, decant uh, spray yeah. here. MyFragranceSamples.com. That's pretty where nice. I get That's where I get most of my stuff. So, yes. Okay, so in the air, it's honey and definitely the oud. Stung my nostrils a little bit. It's pretty loud. It's it's a pretty loud fragrance. It really stung the nostrils up top. It's cloying. If mm -hmm. you over apply this, it is a little cloying. But yeah. once it settles down, it's actually really nice. Zero leather on skin. <laughs> <laughs> Slight backdrop of that medicinal oud. Now you might get, like you yourself, you might get the leather. I just, I don't this at is, all, but later on you might. It's sweet, floral, and a slight earthy patchouli. That's. 
Yeah, there's a there's a patchouli. There. In the oud, like in the air, I get the oud. Yeah, that's get, so what, weird. Do you get the honey though? Like it's a sweetness, and, and okay. uh, was there vanilla in here? Yeah, there's vanilla. Okay, because that's what I'm getting more even than the oud. Uh, uh, sorry, the honey. Interesting. See, this, this is why skin chemistry plays it's, a big role. Yeah, in it. but so what do you think from so just... off of my skin? I do like it. I don't necessarily say. I was like I was kind of expecting a little bit more uh, honey and oud okay. personally. It doesn't really give that too much off of me. I would have loved to see a bit more of that leather and that oud combination. It would have ma manned it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's what I was expecting. This is the unisex fragrance for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It leans for sure. a little bit more towards the ladies though. W yeah, women can definitely get away with this with ease, in my opinion. It's sweet and it's floral, which is unexpected with you know this type of. Other notes going on, in and there, I so. see more of like the modern day gems, the metrosexual kind of guys wearing this. Then like, yeah, then guys like a Brock Lesnar kind of dude, you know. To me, this smells like a 2023 or 2022 release, not a 2015 release. If that makes sense. And this is colder season for yep, sure. Yep. Yep. And it's a rather versatile fragrance. So like for a sweet, like a semi-sweet scent. There's a little bit of class. With it. Yeah, it's a fun fragrance, you know, a little bit playful. But there's like a certain type of elegance. That's more for like an older woman or an older man. Like, yep. if you're, but if you're in your early twenties and you like it, then then wear it. But it's just that's what I feel like. It's just a little bit more mature. I totally see that in my opinion as well. And Montau, they're known for performance, so this is like ten plus hours. Oh yeah. See, it's not as like projecting off of my skin, but I can totally tell by the way it's performing that the longevity will be definitely. Oh, there. this is a, the, the Montau has always got. Insane performance. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> From what I've experienced so far. So good, not amazing in my opinion, but hey. That's okay. teach their own. So is it really worth the hype that the lady has been doing? Uh my personal opinion. Okay, so because you like we're both Chads. <laughs> however, by societal norms, like you are the Chad because oh. you got the good looks, you got the physique and all that kind of stuff. Thank you. So you know, does this is this really worth the hype that the beautiful lady influencers have been promoting? You know, I always go into a, a fragrance, especially because of some online creators that give it hype. I try to stay neutral going into this, but this is one I was a little bit more hyped to see and, and experience. And I typically, I, I actually, you know what? I don't think it's worth the hype. Are you just saying that to be like counter, like culture? contrarian? Uh, yes. No, I just I expect like I love the note of honey. I have some amazing honey, woody, and oody fragrances, but I just I think it's um, I, I think it's really good. Like we're talking an eight out of ten at least, right? But I'm not saying it's like closer to that ten out of ten territory that uh -huh. I was expecting. All right. Fair. Eight out of ten is still amazing, though. Yeah. You know, and I'm not going to say it's a bad fragrance. It's just not meeting expectational standards that I've set for it. I gotcha. I personally really enjoyed it, but it's not a bottle that I would personally go out and get. Especially at that price. No. <laughs> you know, a lot of the Montals that I've seen are like 80 to like 120. Sure, yeah. So, and maybe it's because of the hype that this one has just jumped up in price. Who really knows? It may have been that price for years now. Yeah. I don't know. I guess Montel has a different pricing structure for all their fragrances somehow. Well, this, this is like the gray market. So oh yeah, this, this is that. Yeah, and that's it was right. only available on fragrance net. So. That makes sense as to why the price is increasing. Okay, so sure. I have nothing else to add. What about you? That's about it for me too. All right guys, so that is our take of Montel's Honey Oud. Any other videos that I've done from this brand and really plug it into this brand. So yeah, I said one a month. I've probably been doing like two to three. They will all be down in the description box below, including the, the smell right that I did it with my wife. Actually, you know what? You know what? Smell right with my wife right here. Chad's social media down in the description box below. Please make sure to check them out. Guys, we thank you for your time. Take care and we will see you later. Thanks for watching everybody.